God tells you today my dear child stop worrying about the future, because I am there. Don't be afraid of what's coming, I would never let something hurt you. There are processes that you must go through, in order to grow, resist the bad times, the harvest of the greatest fruits is near. Don't forget that my times are perfect and precise. I only ask you, don't stop believing in me, Amen. God says I'm here for you. I am not going anywhere. I'm always here. Don't allow Satan to fill your thoughts with negative false thoughts that I understand that life has been full of ups and downs. Do not fear, however, because I am your God. Wherever you go, I will be there. I love you. This is sign that you don't need to thought about anything to happen. Just surrender, have faith, and watch everything unfold perfectly for you, type, yes, if you are ready. God says, the month might have not started the way you would have loved to, but there is still hope. I love you. God said remember that I have commanded you to be determined and confident. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I, the Lord your God, am with you wherever you go. God says, supremacy, greatness, holiness, tolerance, love of God, etc., every detail of each of the different aspects of the character and essence of God find practical expression whenever He carries out His work, they are embodied in His will towards man, and they are also fulfilled and reflected in each person. Whether you have felt it before or not, God is caring for each person in every possible way, using His sincere heart, His wisdom, and various methods to warm the heart of each person, and awaken their spirit. This fact is indisputable. 555 If you read this, your best days will start from this point onward. You will heal, love, and money will bless you and your family. Are you ready for this gift? Type, 555, if you believe. God says, if I didn't believe you could succeed, I wouldn't have made you. You can succeed. I gave you the potential. Stay positive. I love you. 999, bad days are coming to an end. A new chapter full of love, light, and success is starting are you ready, type, yes, if you're ready. God says, rest tonight. Make your requests known to me and believe that I have heard you. I am watching over you that I love you. Type, yes, if you believe. Today's message, you don't need to worry about the next step in your life. All you need to do is put your trust in me and work hard. I will place the right people along your path. I have watched over you and will always watch over you. Type yes to affirm. God says. I will bless your life. Stay faithful. 7777, you're not reading this by accident. This is your confirmation that everything is going to be alright. The universe is making a way. Type 7777 if you believe. God says I understand that life has been full of ups and downs. Do not fear, however, because I am your God. Wherever you go, I will be there. When you say, I prayed for you, it's like telling someone, I've spoken to God about you. I'm grateful that I met you, and I'm asking Him to take care of you and keep you safe. It is a unique expression of love that cannot be replicated with material things. People who pray for others are truly special and top tier. Comment Amen if you agree. God says, I urge people of all nations, 
of all countries and even of all industries to listen to the voice of God, contemplate His work and pay attention to the destiny of humanity. In order to make God the holiest, the most honorable, the superior and the only object of worship among humanity, and thus enable all humanity to live under the blessing of God, just as the descendants of Abraham lived under the promise of Jehovah, and as Adam and Eve, whom God created first, lived in the Garden of Eden. When you make a promise to God, don't delay in following through, for God takes no pleasure in fools. Keep all the promises you make to Him. It is better to say nothing than to make a promise and not keep it. Don't let your mouth make you sin, and don't defend yourself by telling the temple messenger that the promise you made was a mistake. That would make God angry, and He might wipe out everything you have achieved. Here is my heart, O oh God, here it is with all its secrets. Look into my thoughts, O oh my hope and take away all my wrong feelings. Let my eyes be ever on you and release my feet from the snare. I ask you to live with me, to reign in me, to make this heart of mine a holy temple, a fit dwelling for your divine majesty. Amen. If God sends you many sufferings, it is a sign that he has great plans for you and certainly wants to make you a saint. Talk is cheap, like daydreams and other useless activities. Fear God instead. Anxiety comes when we try to take control over things that belong to God. Now may the Lord of Peace Himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. God is bigger than what you're anxious about. He's got you. Believe it. God is working in your life, right now, in ways you cannot understand. God will handle what you can't handle yourself. It's okay to ask for His help. He loves you. Oh God, you parted the Red Sea, broke down the walls, resurrected a man who had been dead for four days, and made a paralyzed man walk again. I have an impossible cause, and I put it in your hands, and with my faith, I believe that this cause will be victorious. In the name of Jesus Christ, may all evil that stands in my way leave me and may God bless my life, my home and my family. Amen touch the image if you give more to God and do not be ashamed of Him. Amen. If you don't fill your mind with the Word of God, the enemy will fill it with fear, anxiety, stress, worry, and temptation. God I'm all yours fill me and leave me with no room of anxiety, worry, stress and temptation. I will trust in you, God bless you for sharing his message. Wherever you are, I pray that God's love will be with you that He will protect you wherever you go. Whatever you do, I pray that joy fills your heart. Because you deserve every beautiful gift of a wonderful life. And may God bless you forever. Amen. Lord, first I want to thank you for giving me life and all your blessings. I kneel and ask you to forgive me for my sins. I put everything in your hands and may you purify my mind and my soul and heal my sadness and my pain. I also ask you to take care of my family and friends. I love you and I want you to always be in my life. Thank God. Amen. I need you by my side because I can't be alone without you. You are the reason I keep breathing. I'm nothing without you. If you love God and are not ashamed of Him, please share this prayer with your friends and you will see what God will do if you believe it and write, Amen. God has already prepared the way. He is now preparing you. So, 
Be patient and try to learn what God wants you to learn in the current situation. You will thank Him for making you wait for so long, as it is not meaningless but helps you better handle what you desire. Or maybe what God will give you is better than your desire. So be patient and focus on now. If you trust in God's timing, respond with a firmly Amen. I don't know if you believe that God will never fail you, but I want to tell you to focus on God, trust Him and worship Him in any situation, that you look to God, trust in Him and praise Him in any trial that you serve God, follow Him and witness to Him at any opportunity, and that you wait on God and worship Him at any time. God saw your tears last night. Be encouraged. He is always working. Sometimes you can't see it. Sometimes you can't feel it. Sometimes you can't grasp what he's doing. That's what faith is, trusting God regardless of what you can see. I read a quote that said, People are at war with themselves, and honestly that's not it, according to God's word, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's time we start obeying the voice of God and hearing what He commands us to do and say. So continue to be strong in your thoughts. If you continue to trust God, you will receive great things. You need to be patient and strong. Then you will continue to do what God wants. As a result, you will receive what God has promised. God knows the when, the why, and the how. He knows the right time, the right door, and the right opportunity. So just show up, do your part, then let Him handle the rest. Dear God, I am ready to upgrade. If you feel that I am ready please take me to a next level. Elevate me in every aspect. Bring me where stability, love, and peace resides. Allow me to stay humble and generous. Never greedy and arrogant. Show me how much I can accomplish and get done. When keeping you first. Please open up new doors for me Lord. Place me in settings that are meant to upgrade me and help me elevate those around me. Mold me into a masterpiece, your masterpiece, and when you do elevate me remind me to help others. And never get tired of doing good. I thank you in advance. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Lord, please don't leave me. Lord, I know how unworthy I am. I know how dirty I look. But, God, I need your mercy and grace to come upon me. Lord, I know I always say, God, I want to change, but I never make an effort. Lord, please forgive my weakness. I'm only human. Lord, I desperately need a change and I need your grace to make it happen. Lord, save me. You are the only one who to cure me. Amen. Sometimes God takes you on a journey you didn't know you needed, to bring you everything you ever wanted. Trust the plan. God did not bring you this far to leave you or forsake you. Things might be hard for you to handle, but God will still make a way for you. Dear God, please calm my mind, heal my heart, and take away my worries. If God has been good to you, affirm with Amen. Dear God, forgive me for my sins, I love you and I will always need you. Cover my family, my house, my work, my dreams, my projects, my friends, and everyone who reads this message with your precious blood. If you love God and are not ashamed of Him, touch the image and Amen. Dear God, 
I come to you with a grateful heart for all the blessings you've given me. I humbly ask for your forgiveness for my sins. My life is yours, I surrender it all to you. Make me pure and clean. Renew my mind and my soul. Guide me with your word. Please also be with my family and friends and shower them with your peace. I love and want you in my life. If you love Jesus and need this prayer, respond with Amen. Dear Lord, as the day ends, I come before you in gratitude. Thank you for the blessings and challenges, for the love of family and friends. As I reflect on my day, I ask for your forgiveness for my shortcomings, and the strength to face tomorrow. Dear Lord, please enlighten me with your words, so I know how to do according to your will. I surrender to your care, trusting in your love. Amen if God has been good to you. I'm thankful for this new day you've given me. I pray for the unique focus you offer in our hectic lives. Assist me in centering my thoughts on your glory and the path you have destined for me. Rather than attempting to eliminate these interruptions, enable me to accept them while maintaining my gaze steadfastly on you. In my moments of weakness, may you grant me strength, in times of failure, may you lift me up. Guide me to reflect your glory in my life's journey. Thank you for your constant and consolation. If you stand in God's truth, declare Amen. The words you speak about slash to yourself become the home you live in, make it a beautiful place to be. Other people's opinions are irrelevant look crazy for God. Comparison is the thief of joy, focus on God and your relationship with Him. You're alive today for a reason, this is only a chapter in your story, keep pushing through. Not everything you think is true, use discernment and put on the mind of Christ. Stress makes you believe that everything has to happen right now. Faith reassures you that everything will happen in God's timing. You are my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? You are the stronghold of my life, Lord of whom shall I be afraid? My heart will not be troubled, and I will not be afraid because you have given me your peace. Your word reminds me that you will never leave me nor forsake me, and because you always go with me, I am strong and courageous. Mere mortals can do nothing to me. My God is my refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. You came near when I called you, and you said, Do not fear. For this reason, I am confident of your mighty power. Thank you because the very hairs on my head are all numbered and to you, I am worth moan asterisk than a million sparrows. Thank you, my keeper and helper, in Jesus' name. Dear God, I come to you today to lift up my dear friend in prayer. I ask that you grant them the strength, wisdom, and courage to pursue their dreams and achieve success in all their endeavors. Please guide them along the right path surround them with positive influences, and open doors of opportunity for them. May they be blessed with perseverance, resilience, and unwavering faith in their abilities. May their hard work be rewarded and may they experience the fulfillment of their goals and aspirations. In Jesus' name. Thank you for the gift of a new day. I pray for your guidance and strength as I face the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Help me to be patient and kind, to show love and compassion to those around me. I ask for your protection and blessing over my family and friends. Keep them safe and healthy, and fill their hearts with your peace and joy. I pray for wisdom and discernment in all that I do that I may make choices that honor you.
In Jesus' name. Keep your peace. Guard your heart and steward your assignment. The God of vindications and culminations will calm the waters and clear the way. The God of peace, protection, promise and prosperity, will restore the situation. Watch for a shift within three days. So you can't see how God's going to do it. Abraham didn't see how he'd be the father of many nations. The Israelites didn't see how they'd escape Egypt. The reason we don't see how is because we're not meant to. God's desire is for us to simply trust Him to do what He says He will do. You are so dependable and intentional. I aspire and crave to be more and more like you every day. You show up for me and all your children even when we don't deserve it. Your love is unconditional, your mercy is everlasting, and you make no mistake. There will never be anything or anyone that could compare to the goodness you have given us. I humbly request that you make me more like you. Shine your light upon me and allow me to be a reflection of you. Purify my soul and heart. Use me as your vessel to make a change in this world. Speak to and through me. I glorify and lift your name high. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name I pray, Amen. Lord, please save us from our weaknesses and weariness. When we fail to recognize you in the traces of time. When we don't understand the hope you've given us. When we expect to achieve things by relying solely on our strength. When we lack the desire or willingness to pray. When we seek your face. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Psalm 34 verse 19 Dear God, thank you for the gift of another day. As I lay down to sleep, I ask for your guidance and wisdom in all areas of my life. Please bless my family and friends, and keep them safe. In your loving care. Amen. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for my family, friends, and the entire world to be blessed physically, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. I pray that they will be filled with love, joy, peace, and happiness. I ask that you will protect them from all harm and provide for their needs. Dear God, help me to change the things that I cannot change. Help me to accept the things that I have lost and to look ahead at the blessings that you have stored for me. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Say this prayer in the name of Jesus. Anything that wants to disrupt the rest of God in my life be destroyed now. I bear upon our body the seal of the Holy Spirit therefore, nothing will trouble me. No evil comes near me in Jesus' name. I humbly come before you to thank you and praise you for your greatness. Because it is you who has given me this day in which I have experienced many things, both good and bad. 
There is no doubt that in all experiences I can feel your loving presence and guidance. Amen. I am no longer my own, but yours. Put me to what you will, rank me with whom you will. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed by you or laid aside for you, exalted for you or brought low for you. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and wholeheartedly yield all things to your pleasure and disposal. And now, glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am yours. So be it. And the covenant now made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. I repeat, be strong and brave. Don't be afraid and don't panic, for I, the Lord your God, am with you in all you do. Amen. Dear God. I come to you feeling lonely and isolated. I feel like I have no one to turn to and no one to share my burdens with. I feel like I am all alone in this world. But I know that you Aries always with me, Lord. You are my constant companion and my ever-present help in times of trouble. You never leave me nor forsake me, even when I feel the most alone. I pray, Lord, that you would comfort me in my loneliness. Jesus will never forsake his people. He will always be there to comfort, guide, and support them in times of need. He will provide them with peace, strength, and hope to overcome any challenges they may face. Jesus will love them unconditionally and show them the way to eternal life through his sacrifice on the cross. He will be their shepherd, leading them to green pastures and still waters, and he will never let them go astray. Jesus will always be their rock. Confirm Amen. God always puts you in circumstances that you are worthy of, so rest assured. Dear God, I would like to take a minute, not to ask for anything, but to thank you for your infinite mercy that allows me to live another day and glorify your holy name. I am grateful for the love of our Heavenly Father, for your goodness, and for granting me and my family the gift of life. Thank you for taking care of my life my home, and my loved ones. Amen. Comment Amen if God has been good in your life. Heavenly Father, you are the one who says, Call me and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. I come to you in prayer seeking your guidance and wisdom. 
I ask that you reveal your plans and purposes for my life and that you show me the path you want me to walk. Lord, I know that your ways are higher than mine, and your thoughts are higher than mine. So I ask that you transform my mind and heart to align with yours, so that I may think and act in ways that are pleasing to you. Thank you, God, for being a God who hears and answers prayer. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Aim to rely entirely on the Holy Spirit. Learn the sound of His voice and how to follow Him more closely. Don't act before praying and then count on God to provide the blessings on it. Become more sensitive to what He's leading you to do and wait when He says to. God, while I live I know that I will see your goodness. Regardless of the forces that come up against me, try as they may, I can never be defeated. You delight in my success. On the first Sunday of March, I declare the greatness of your faithfulness. I believe that I will see you do everything you've promised me. The reward for my steadfastness is your unyielding love for me. My prayer today is that you keep my belief strong. Continue to reveal yourself to me. Help me to remain confident. Help me to remain faithful to my covenant with you. I want to continue to bask in the work you're doing on me. Pursue righteousness and a godly life, along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you which you have declared so well before many witnesses. God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You have a good heart and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind. You have been betrayed in many ways. Yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not. I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemy. I am a beloved child of God, fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. With God's strength within me, I am confident in my ability to work from home and provide for my family. I trust in the Lord's guidance and wisdom to navigate my path with grace and purpose. I declare that I am empowered by God's love and equipped with the skills needed to succeed in my endeavors. I walk in faith, knowing that God has called me to this season of working from home and he will sustain me through it all. I am a beacon of light and inspiration, shining God's love and grace in all that I do. I embrace my role as a confident mompreneur, knowing that God's power is made perfect in my weakness. 
I am capable, I am strong, and I am blessed by the hand of the Almighty. I walk in the assurance that God's grace is sufficient for me, and His power is made perfect in my daily tasks. I am a vessel of God's love and light, radiating confidence and resilience in all that I do. I embrace each new day with gratitude, knowing that God's favor surrounds me and send gift sings overflow in my life. With His strength as my foundation, I am unstoppable and I move forward with unwavering faith influencer's deformation. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand, deliver me from the hand of my enemies, and from those who persecute me. But you are the chosen race, the king's priests, the holy nation, go W.Y. Sevuri people, chosen to proclaim the wonderful acts of God, who called you out of darkness into his own marvelous light. At one time you were not God's people, but now you are his people, at one time you did not know God's mercy, but now you have received his mercy. Prayer for the Weary Father in heaven, lately I have encountered many troubles that have left me feeling exhausted, even a bit powerless to face them. You know my weaknesses, so I ask you to be my support and guide me out of this situation. I believe that you will encourage and uphold me, and with you as my support, I will not fall. Praying in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen, if you believe. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with an open heart and a humble spirit. I submit to your will, seeking your wisdom to guide my steps. I pray that you ease my mind, calm my inner self, and grant me wise decisions. Heavenly Father, help me walk in faith, for only you can renew my hope. May your love surround me and strengthen me to face the challenges of today. Bless my family, children, and friends. May the Lord hear our prayer. If you love God and are not ashamed of Him, comment. Amen. Short Prayer Hi God I woke up tired, worn out, anxious, sad. You already knew that, though. Help me to remember you're always with me and have good plans for me. Help me to remember that absolutely nothing can separate me from your love. Thanks for loving me even when I am a mess. In Christ, Amen. On this day filled with gratitude and hope, I want to express my heartfelt thanks loudly. Thank you for consistently showering me with blessings, for illuminating my path with your light, and for the protection and refuge found in your love. As I embark on this journey, I ask for the confidence to face challenges without succumbing to fear. 
Infuse in me steadfast faith and remind me that, even in the toughest storms, you are always by my side. May each step I take be a testimony of my surrender to you, and may your light guide my efforts every day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If God has been good to you, declare Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, we come before you with grateful hearts giving you thanks for the blessing of this beautiful day. Thank you for your unconditional love and faithfulness. I ask that you create in us a clean heart, help us to stay focused on what's right and to stay aligned with your will, release us from any distractions. If you're moving in an unusual way I ask that you allow us to feel and know you're present with us, allow us to hear and understand you when you're speaking to us. I ask that you empower us when we feel down so that we will arise above all the trials and challenges Thursday come into our lives. Please help us to find a purpose for our pains. Bless our hearts with your divine strength. Keep your hedge of protection around us all for we need you and we trust in you. Thank you Lord in Jesus name Amen. 1. God will strengthen you and uphold you. Isaiah 41 verse 10 2. His love will never fail you. Isaiah 54 verse 10 3. Wisdom when you ask. James 1 verse 5 4. God will meet all of your needs according to his riches. Philippians 4 verse 19 5. His plans are to prosper you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 6. He works all things out for your good. Romans 8 verse 28 7. He will give you rest. Matthew 11 verse 28 13.7 K 8 Salvation through Jesus Christ Romans 9. The Joy of His Presence Psalm 16 verse 11 10. Eternal Life in Him May His actions and words be a reflection of your love and grace, and may He be remembered for His kindness, compassion, and faith. I pray that he is able to pass on his values and beliefs to our children and grandchildren, and that his legacy continues for generations to come. Thank you for my husband and for the impact that he has already made in my life. I trust in you to continue to guide him and use him for your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen.